You kids may think marine microbes are cool and fun to do with your friends, but they are actually really dangerous. Let's start off with viruses. Viruses and other marine microbes <coughs> are super hazardous. Bonds before they enter the cell. Once they're in there, they can take one or two shapes. I'm going to show you how to recognize viruses. First start out with the eco ecosahedral. It's got 20 triangular faces. If you see this stuff on the streets, you just say no. Next, we got a he helical protein in a spiral shape. Now, and finally the most common, biennial. They have ecohedral heads and helical tails. If someone comes up to you on the streets offering you dangerous viruses and other marine microbes, you gotta say no. Let me tell you about the two ways viruses can mess you up. One, we have lytic. Now lytic, viruses go into your cell, reproduce, burst. Those viruses then go into other cells, reproduce, and burst. But the worst part is those aren't even the most dangerous ones. The most dangerous ones are the lysogenic ones. That's stuff like HIV and AIDS, and you don't want that. Those viruses go into the cell, stay dormant, but reproduce, silently spring to other cells, until one day they burst, and a whole bunch of your cells burst all at once. This is why lysogenic is probably the most dangerous virus you can get out there. Viruses will kill everything, and they are everywhere. So you gotta keep a constant watch. Stay safe. The marine microbe that's on the streets that you want to stay off of is bacteria. There's three types of domain bacteria. Bacillus, Coccus, and Spirillus. Each of those bacteria shapes do different things and have different properties. Like cyanobacteria. It creates its own food through photosynthesis. And when it dies, it layers up and makes stromylites. You don't want that to put that stuff in your body. Let me tell you about some other stuff, like obligate anaerobic bacteria that can't even live in oxygen area, or chemosentic bacteria that live in hydrothermal vents. Bacteria can be everywhere, and does everything from decomposing to recycling nitrogen. Now I know what some of you are saying. Well, hey, what about? Symbiotic bacteria that helps the organism. Well, I'd say that's the most dangerous kind. Do not abuse prescription domain bacteria. Let's talk about another dangerous marine microbe in the archaea domain. These archaeas, they like extreme environments. High salinity, high pressure. So stay out of those areas. You don't want an archaea dealer getting you hooked on methogens. Archaea are the most dangerous because we know little about them. Fungi are even worse. They spread their mycelium into your minds, and there's no way you're getting off the stuff. These are our recycle bins, because if you use them, you belong in the trash. They're decomposers who, can't pro who can also provide food for other animals, but not you. On to protists. These are anything that's not a plant, animal, or fungus. They are the drunk drawer of the create or get organism, organism world and they are not and they are junk that you shouldn't be putting in your body. Let's start with stramophiles or they are commonly algae. Hectronauts are another type of stramophile that are particularly potent. They have flangellas and come in many shapes and sizes such as diatoma cirrhois, earth. It cannot be decomposed and incidilites. Photosynthelites can block sun and filter and clog filter feeders. Extremely dangerous. Let's talk about habitophytes. These are platonic and marine. They have two simple flagella and have a hepatoma like rod. It's a rod like an organelle between the flagella. Coccolithophorus can increase climate change because of how reflective they are. On to alleviates, they are also something to look out for, especially diasporin, which are decay resistant. If you encounter these organisms on the street, call an am ambioid protozoas. They eat bacteria and other diatoms. 
Thanks for listening, and stay off the streets, kids.